Hey there, welcome to today's Health Bite. I'm Minnick Bradley, and in the studio I've got, as always, registered naturopath from My Remedy. This is Lynette Hill. Hi, Lynette, how are you doing? I'm good, thanks, Monique. Hi, good everyone. Stuff. Right, a big topic. Oh, I've switched my sound down. A really big topic. I posted about the fact on, on My Remedy that um, we were going to be talking about high blood pressure in particular, and that really is the topic for tonight. And there was a, quite a bit of interest in it. Is it quite common? Is it something you're seeing in your clinic all the time? It's very common and most people, particularly 50s and up, are either have it, one or, one or the other in a couple will have it, so it's pretty common. Yeah. Well, one of the things we need to let you know right from the get-go is that we can't diagnose any disease or anything while we're live. Um, that's not something you can do as a naturopath no, anyway. No, don't diagnose disease. Absolutely. So we can't make any health recommendations, but what we will talk about tonight are some of the signs and symptoms to look out for and some of the things you can do to either help yourself or to find out the the professional information you need to know about dealing with your high blood pressure, some tips and tricks on how to transform your health. So first of all, I want to find out from you, Lynette, here's the first question for the night. What are the symptoms of high blood pressure? Now, you've had experience with this mm. firsthand. I, I have high blood pressure and um, my blood pressure went dangerously high all of a sudden. It was actually following an illness when they discovered that I have a um, genetic predisposition to high blood pressure and it went right over 200 and right over 100 so my wow. first, that was my first sign that I had mm -hmm. high blood pressure and I had a very 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 sore arm and I can't remember about my jaw but I did go through a list and my son immediately uh, rang the ambulance because wow. it, was, it was pretty 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 serious yeah and that was my first indication because up until that point I'd had low blood pressure so I wasn't even looking out for it. Wow so normal symptoms so my understanding is that um, um, blood hypertension or high blood pressure is sometimes known as a silent silent killer mm. or a silent disease because because of the sheer fact that often these signs people brush off as being normal mm. you know the headaches the nausea the brain fog yeah. we might think often that they're part of other conditions mm. but when you're getting the jaw pain the mm. pain in the nape of the neck yes. the arm pain that's when people should start to pay a little bit of attention that's really serious when you've got those pains where your body is is tightening up and in an agony um, don't worry if it's an overreaction, you know, call call the, the ambulance, call the hospital, get someone to take you into hospital. And if it's if it's not that, that's fine. You can go home. You know, but it is very, very dangerous. Most people's first indication is having a heart attack or a stroke. And you wow. know, that's really seriously too late. It absolutely is. Okay, so tonight we're going to talk a little bit about some of the things you can do to reduce your risks of having high blood pressure. Now, even if you're on medication, some of the things that we're going to show you, which are practitioner only uh, supplements that you can take to add to your daily diet or some of the tips and tricks, none of this should interfere too much with medication. Uh, some of them do, but mm -hmm. so that's why they need, you need to be guided by a yep. naturopath or a medical herbalist. So they and may support the medication, right. but they shouldn't interfere with it in a negative way. And there on the screen, oh, we've got some some of the key tips that people need to remember. So lowering the amount of sodium in their diet is going to help. That absolutely. I mean, too, uh, sodium regulates hydration. Right. So too much of it is going to cause high blood pressure because you're going to become dehydrated. Mm -hmm. And also there's the issues around um, hardened arteries. But equally not enough sodium um, means that you can't actually absorb some of those minerals and nutrients that you need um, to push fluids around your body. So ah, getting the salt right is really important. Now, one of the tips here, eat lean and green. So one of the things I've definitely learned in my journey, I had very high blood pressure, uh, was adding more plant into my diet mm. and also eating leaner cuts of meat has been really mm. important because, of course, cholesterol is part of this journey as well, Lynette. That's right. And high cholesterol is just a, another lipid or another fat that's going to thicken up that blood. But the greens are also, um, you know, you've got your, your folates in there, you've got your magnesium, potassium, calcium. Mm -hmm. Those are all minerals that we need to regulate our, our blood pressure. So greens are really important. And also they're just, they're antioxidant. Mm -hmm. They've got everything that we need. So there should be, uh, there are so many reasons to eat them. Mm, I totally agree. So adding more plants, 
adding in occasionally a few whole grains in there as well, better cuts of, of protein, or if you're mm. if you're vegetarian, adding in your, your legumes uh, where you can, making sure that's balanced up with some nuts and seeds so you're still creating a complex protein in your diet there, always very important. I know one man who actually removed red meat from his, his mm. diet altogether because that was really affecting his blood pressure. And finally there, getting moving is super, mm. super important because of course our hearts are pumping that blood around the body doing um doing a little bit of goodness in the body and what's actually happening in that process when our blood's moving more well we're increasing oxygen we're increasing circulation mm -hmm. so instead of just our heart just physically actively pumping things around our movement is also helping our blood to flow mm -hmm. around and you're keeping your muscles healthy ah so true one of the things that's helped me reduce my blood pressure so i had extremely high blood pressure and was really shocked last year when I had it taken and it was better than perfect. I didn't think that was possible. Um, I the, the key change that I made was changing my diet and moving more. Mm. I think if that's all you do, and I would always add in water, 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 water. That's right, we're going to come up to that too. Yes. If, if, all you, if you go from a very processed diet to a more whole food diet, and that's not anything radical, it's just eat your vegetables, eat your fruit, You know, make sure that what you are eating you can actually recognise as food. Right. Lower the salt and just walk for 20 minutes to half an hour a day. Not only is that physically going to help you, but it's also going to mentally help you. Ah, You're going to have so more true. energy and feel um, better about yourself. That's right. We're going to come to that point very shortly. Cobus Botha just said, hi, it's it's nice. It's so nice to hear your voice, my old friend. You're looking oh, amazing. Cobus, thank you. Hello. <laughs> and a big hello to Tracy Marie Huia, who's watching tonight as well. So you've got some, uh, you've got some, uh, some th bits and pieces here, things that you can buy retail, and you can mm -hmm. also get them prescribed by a healthcare professional. Naturopath is a good place to start when you're dealing with your mm -hmm. uh, blood pressure issues. Can you talk us through some of these first things before sure. we get on to dealing with stress and well, water? Well, Cobus will recognise this. So Cobus used to work with me at oh, my great. remedy, and he's a medicinal herbalist. So um, medicinal herbs are fantastic. So once we've got to know you and uh, understand what your situation is mm -hmm. and what your blood pressure is doing and how it's behaving and what medications you are or you're not on. Mm -hmm. uh, there are some beautiful herbs that we can put together to actively support heart health and hopefully Great. reduce high blood pressure. There's always things like our teas. You know, this one's really lovely. It's an Artemis tea. And tea is a really nice way of gently introducing um, medicinal herbs into your system without Love too it. much. You know, it's you can usually have your tea alongside medication. Right, yes, um, of course. This is my, um, I actually have high blood pressure. I'm medicated for it. So I found um, I wasn't able to um, just work uh, with with herbal tonics for mm -hmm. me. Um, you my needed blood something pressure, a little bit more? Yeah, it was, it was dangerously high. Um, so then I used um, a really good magnesium compound and some fish oil and some hawthorn just to bring things down a little bit and it supports my medication. Right. I was going to say, so none of that messes with medication at no, all? No. Hawthorn is, for me, it's really important to take it and I take it at the other end of the day. So it's looking after me in the evenings. But if I don't have my uh, blood pressure medication and I just have this, mm -hmm. Up it goes. If wow. I just have my medication and I don't do this, up it goes. So it's that lovely combination and that's what I really love about using um, allopathic or, or modern medicine mm -hmm. and natural medicine. Excellent. So things like fish oils, you can find those yep. in your health food shop. Mm -hmm. Things like this, which are practitioner only, so that's for the, the heart health there. You do want to talk to your naturopath mm. uh, who can actually steer you in the in the right direction there. Mm. Great product, and you're using that all the time, Lynette. Oh, I am, every day. Love Perfect. it. Yep. Now you've got a couple of other things in here. I know we're going to get on to stress very shortly, mm -hmm. but you've got a couple of other things here in the middle that, mm. um, uh, that can help with heart health as well? Absolutely. CoQ10 um, is a, a really good cardioprotective oil mm -hmm. as, a, as a rule. Uh, there's very few contraindications with that. Right. And I've also just got some products here that we use where cholesterol might be part of the picture. Mm -hmm. So they might be helping to um, keep cholesterol levels healthy or look after the liver and its processing of fats and cholesterol. Mm. Um, you know, things like turmeric can even be really beneficial. Oh, wow, well, yes, of course. Yeah. Great for reducing that inflammation in there. That's right. So we're looking at all the reasons, and that's why I say when you work with your natural health specialist, they're mm. going to find out which way to go. And, of course, 
stress I mean that's right I was going yeah. to say we've got another screen coming up and this is one of the key contributors to increasing your blood pressure the effects of stress mm. so this was one of the things that actually <laughs> used to raise my blood pressure out of control having a lot of stress in my life mm. and for me I can I can radically say that um, doing things like one of the things that I take, which is practitioner only that I got from Lynette, is a product called Adrenal. I'm not on any other medication, so I can take this quite quite happily. Um, this is designed to support my adrenal glands. I suffered from adrenal gland burnout some years ago and never quite recovered. Mm. So this has been a really good option to help um, basically support my adrenals. And when I am feeling a little bit stressed, I, I know that this I can take an extra extra little dose of this just to support me throughout the day. This has been really wonderful and it's been amazing since taking that how my blood pressure has, mm. has really come down. And the other thing that I also take um, here is this. This is Chillax. So I've talked about this online so many <laughs> times. This is a great spray that you've put together, Lynette. This is based on bark flower bark remedies. Bark flowers, yeah. So gentle and natural. So when you're in that space in the day where you are ready to cut somebody because they're driving you crazy, or I shouldn't say that really, but you know the workmates are driving you crazy, the kids, honestly, you you want to leave them on the side of the footpath. You know where, <laughs> wherever you get to, wherever your stress levels at, mm. something like Chillax is a really lovely natural spray. I use it all the time, particularly mm. I find going from meeting to meeting. I feel almost feel like I can like my blood pressure is starting to go up a little bit yeah. from the stress and that's really just helped help calm me down quite a lot. I love that it's it's a really reasonable price as well. I know because otherwise it's just another stress trying to afford all the that's things. So for stress. True. That's but so stress true. Stress is such a, a, a wonderful part of our everyday life. But if you are living under far too much stress, you are, that is going to have an impact on your blood mm. pressure. So you do need to find a way of dealing with it. And these supplements are, are fabulous. I mm. mean, this one I, I can't take because it's got ginseng right. in it and that raises my blood pressure. So but I have, you have this more. one. That's right. And that's why I'm always saying make sure you talk to your natural health specialist who's going to choose the safe um, option for you. But dealing with your stress, you know, sometimes you might need to get some counselling or some hypnotherapy mm -hmm. or get out and, and yell and scream at the ocean yeah. or or step back and have a look at what's so causing true. you stress. Because if you don't uh, deal with the stress, then these kind of measures are going to be temporary. So we need to look oh, at the right. whole person. Of course. I've got my lovely friend Judy Cranston who's popped on um, on the live stream. Hi, Judy. Good to see you. And hi, Jane. Um, Judy actually has, she runs a business called Kindy Rock and she has amazing music oh, for kids, mm. but she also has a CD of affirmations for kids. Oh, and just lovely. listening to one of her songs, I Am Amazing, is it's just quite uplifting. So being able to find that space in the day to, you know, listen to meditation music mm. or listen to a guided meditation. If you can find five minutes in your day to listen to something that's going to yeah. take you out of that stress mm. mode spray a bit of your chillax in your mouth and you're away yeah you know or even go and look if you've got five minutes in your day to sit beside the beach in the car mm -hmm. in between meetings i speaking from my experience with my blood pressure issues it works mm. find that zen space mm. and like lynette said do address what stress is driving your blood pressure up mm. it could be family it could be friends um one of the things lynette said earlier is to have a friendectomy Mm, it really helps if something is, <laughs> is consistently putting your blood pressure up, then you might just need to get rid of it. I, I totally agree. Now, one of the other things you need to consider when you want to lower your blood pressure, and this is something I learned from Lynette today, in fact, was to include more water into your diet. And I believe we've got a screen coming up about that. Oh, our, and our disclaimer, just a quick reminder <laughs> that um, we can't diagnose while we're live tonight, but we're here to talk to you about your options with your health. As always, do consult your health professional, whether it's your doctor, your GP, or of course your natural medicine practitioner, always valuable. So yes, something that can help lower your blood pressure is water. Tell me about how this works, Lynette. Well, I mean, I just... Um... In our clinic, we use Hemoviews, so blood is a, um, something that we look at all the time. And if you were to take, say, half a glass of water and pretend that's your blood, mm -hmm. probably about two-thirds of that is full of solid things like blood cells, white blood cells, red blood cells, right. platelets, fats, proteins, fiber, all mm -hmm. sorts of stuff is in there. 
So you imagine that you haven't drunk enough water and you've got the same amount of solids in there but not the liquid. So your water's gone from oh, very wow. easy to push around through those arteries to more thick, like like from oh, water wow. to mud. Yeah. So that in itself will increase the friction, which is increasing the blood pressure. So you're wanting to keep your blood as thin as possible. So water is a really wonderful way of doing it. Um, and so uh, things like your magnesium and your fish oil, anything that keeps that blood pushing around the body really easily. Oh, wow. So of course, too, something to consider stimulants getting rid of lowering uh, your wine intake lowering all the fun no i'm kidding always comes back to that doesn't it yeah and, and what is the first thing you do well i do sorry about this <laughs> but you know i never my disclaimer is i never said i was perfect yeah i love coffee and i love a glass of wine and if i'm stressed one of the first things you'll often do is think oh, i'll sit down and have a glass of wine so true really it should be a glass of water and have a chat to somebody and get stuff off your chest and then you can have a glass of wine with your so meal true. <laughs> but no it's it's not beneficial for to have too much alcohol too much coffee too much salt too much fun too much anything for high blood pressure. It's so true. Now, if you are, are concerned or if you've got family or friends who may be struggling a little bit with their blood pressure, the best thing to do is to get in touch with Lynette and the team at My Remedy. They're there to help you. And whether it's starting off with something like this or it's actually addressing the triggers of that blood pressure issue, wherever, wherever it's going to work, whether it's mind or body, they've got the solution. And they do have a special offer for July. If you get in touch with the clinic and you can email health at myremedy.co.nz for your first consult there. If you book a consult with any one of their amazing team, whether it's for hemoview, homeopathy, naturopathy, or whether it is for hypnotherapy, mm. which can also help, you'll receive a $20 discount on the month for the month of July for your first appointment. Just mention Health Bites in your email to redeem that $20 discount. So, final thoughts before we head away tonight, Lynette, because it is just a short Health Bite tonight. Final thoughts. My final thoughts would be, if you think you've got a problem, um, do something about it. So maybe just go and get that blood pressure checked so that you know what you're dealing with. And then if it is a little bit high, go and seek some uh, lifestyle advice from someone like me or a naturopath or a herbalist. And if, there is, um, if there's a cause for concern, we'll certainly get more help for you. But mm. find out what your blood pressure is doing. I totally agree. And from somebody who has had high blood pressure and is now perfect, don't ignore the symptoms. If you are feeling a bit nauseous, if you're suffering from those tension headaches all the time, if you've got um, a, a nausea and, and dizziness, um, fogginess, blurred vision, getting a sore, sore shoulder or sore mm. arm for no reason, pains in the neck, pains in the jaw, don't ignore those symptoms. It's not normal and it could be the sign of something bigger going on. Mm. So do consult your health healthcare professional as soon as possible. And who knows, it could be as simple as changing your diet, mm -hmm. getting more exercise, drinking more water, lowering your salt, or trying some of these natural supplements to support your way to wellness. Mm. I'm Monique Bradley. This is Lynette Hill from My Remedy over in Browns Bay in Auckland. Get in touch with the team. And a big thanks to Pete, who's our producer and director for making these shows happen. Keep well, and we'll see you next week with another Health Bite. Thanks, Lynette. You're welcome.